Hi everyone, Matthias here. Today we talk about how to expand your I.O. I.O. means the inputs and output ports of your audio interface. Most low to mid budget audio interfaces leave you with maybe two to four input ports. But the chances are that you can easily expand upon this. Today we're working with the Centur from Antelope Audio, but this works with a number of other audio interfaces as long as they feature the ADAT ports. Importantly, the ADAT ports let you expand on how many input and output ports you have. In a previous episode we talked about how to expand on your I.O. by merging multiple audio interfaces with the aggregated device functionality inside Mac OS X. If you missed that episode, you can click the card up here. So, what is ADAT? The ADAT light pipe, officially the ADAT optical interface, is a standard for transferring of digital audio between equipment. I think it was originally developed by Alensis. Now for God's sake, don't confuse SPDIF with ADAT, because uh, SPDIF can only transfer up to two channels of uncompressed audio while the ADAT can transfer up to 8 channels of uncompressed audio at 24-bit 44.1 or 48 kHz. Higher sample rates is of course possible, but the channel count will be reduced. My main interface is the Centur from Antelope Audio, and our secondary interface will be the AudioFuse 8 Pre from Arturia. Now the Centur by itself is already a nice interface with plenty of I.O. You have like four times uh, mic and line-ins, four high z line-ins and uh, eight analog outputs. You also have two headphone outputs, two returns and digital I.O. on the ADAT and SPDIF. Now all these I.O. on the Centur is also very configurable, which we will look at later here when we talk about the software for the Centur Synergy Core. Now, the Synergy Core effects and the ability to record with a non-perceivable latency is the major reason I choose to work with the Antelope Audio interfaces. Now, any serious artist would probably agree with me that recording with real-time EQ, compression and amps makes for a 100% better performance. Now, obviously, I chose to work with the AudioFuse 8 Pre because I want to use its ADAT ports to connect to my main interface, the Centur. Of course, there's cheaper alternatives than the AudioFuse 8 Pre for ADAT expansions. You can look at something like the Behringer ADA 8200. Now, if you have any favorite setups or suggestions for ADAT expansions, please write that in the comment section. Right, so let's hook up the ADAT IO connection. The ADAT interface uses the Toslink optical connectors, so you need this Toslink optical cable to connect first to the output of our secondary interface, which is the AudioFuse 8 Pre. And we connect that to the optical input, the ADAT input of our main interface, the Centur in this case. Now be aware of the digital clocking. The audio interfaces need to be digitally clocked with the same sample rate and the lock time at the same time. One will be the master and the other audio interface will be the slave. Without this the digital clock lock clock clock, you will get annoying jitter, clicks and pops. So make sure that the units are properly locked. Now let's hook up an instrument here and in my case we are hooking up the Novation Summit Synth to the input ports of the AudioFuse 8 Pre and make sure that we get audio from the synth into the AudioFuse interface. Right, so finally time to go into Mac OS X and open up the Centur software. And we're currently in the preamp section, so we can see the level meter here for the voiceover microphone. Let's uh, switch over to the ADAT inputs. And now if I play something on the Novation Summit Synth here, we should be able to see input on the ADAT inputs of the Centur. So wasn't that super easy to set up? 
Right, so with the Send Tour uh, mixer here, you have tons of possibilities uh, to do your specific routings. We can see we have the inputs, the different uh, preamps, the computer playback, all these channels, and the ADAT inputs. And you can basically route these anywhere here on the output section. And I've done really specific routings here myself, so I have a specific uh, a specific mixer section. We go into the mixers and look at the mixer too. You have four mixers, four software mixers in the Centaur software. So I have a specific mixer that's uh, routed to the headphones too, which is uh, basically sent to this uh, Octatrack Mark II for sampling. And then I have a completely different mixer setup on uh, the mixer one here, which is sent to uh, the headphones one output. So if you click one of these inputs, you can see where they are routed on, on the output section here. So as you can see, the Centaur mixer is uh, very flexible. And you also have this matrix which you can enter if you want to see exactly where the different uh, ports are routed within the software. So you have all these different possibilities to route things to different places. And in this case, like routing your mixer, this is software mixer one, to both the headphones out one and the monitor at the same time. And as I mentioned earlier, my mixer number two is routed to the headphones outputs two. So that gives you a ton of possibilities for flexible routing. Okay, so what's the conclusion here today? The conclusion is that you can use the ADAT uh, interface to expand your current audio interface with much more I.O. at a much cheaper cost than it is to buy a larger audio interface. And then you can record much more of that uh, studio gear you have lying around and more instruments and a bigger band. And as you saw here in this video, it's not really a big deal to do this setup as long as you make sure that the digital clocking is uh, locked and set up properly. Right, so if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, a subscribe and make sure to write some nice feedback or questions in the video comments. My name is Matthias, now you can continue and watch my next episode. See you on the next one. Bye! Pop, 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 pop.